Hello you guys, welcome to another video. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be helping you guys realize that you can live your dream life. It's just a matter of fact of you guys actually taking action on it, working towards it, and believing in yourself. So I'm just gonna start off by saying whether you think you can do something or whether you think you can't do something, you're right, okay? Because if you say you can't do something, you're not gonna be able to do it because you completely just blocked that out of your mind. Therefore, you don't think you can do it, therefore or you're not gonna be able to do it. But if you put your mind towards something and you say you can do it, then you're gonna do it and you're gonna find any type of way to make it that possible and you're going to do it. No matter how long it takes you, no matter how much you gotta learn, you're gonna do it. So either way, if you say you can't or cannot do something, you're right. So that is a huge mindset shift. You gotta start with changing your mindset if you're dream career let's say is to be an actress or an actor don't be sitting there and thinking oh that's never gonna happen to me how is someone like me gonna be able to be an actress or an actor right there you're putting in your head that you can't do that if you change your mindset and you reroute it to i can do it too like why can't i do it and you start believing in yourself then you're gonna be able to do it because it's all about your mindset you never need to plan for your end goal you just gotta start by taking that first step towards whatever you want to do and the rest will fall into place everything happens for a reason everything happens in divine timing you don't need to stress about how you're gonna get there don't keep asking yourself like oh my god how am I gonna become a famous actress am I gonna need to do this am I gonna need to do that no that just puts doubts in your brain just think of the end result and just think of you being that famous actress being happy it's so important to not stress about like the middle parts because everyone's journey is gonna end up being so different so if someone became a famous actress by doing A, you may not go through route A, you might take route C, and you might become a famous actress in a completely different way. Everyone's journey is gonna be so different, so you can't predict how your journey is gonna be or what your journey is gonna be. All you can do is envision that final end goal of what you want, and the universe will lead you on the right path to that dream life that you want. The only way that you guys are gonna achieve your goals is if you actually start. I've heard so many people be like, oh my God, like I really wanna start this, I really wanna start this, but they but they never end up starting it. And it's like, do you really think you're gonna end up at your end goal if you don't even start? Like, no, you gotta start. Just make the time, put the energy in and just start. If you wanna do something, start it. Like don't hesitate, just do it. Like seriously, that is like, I feel like the hardest part in taking that initial jump. Make it part of your daily routine. Whatever you wanna do, you gotta incorporate incorporate it every day because you have to live it out. You have to step into the body of a famous actress. You have to be that before you can receive that. So if you want to be a famous actress, act like one. Take a piece of paper or write on your phone, write a list of qualities that you would possess if you were that famous actress and read them over every day and take steps in that direction of attaining those qualities. So a lot of time people fear like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? if I take that leap of faith and go for my dream job or go for my dream life like oh my god what's gonna happen and people are scared of that you're scared of the wrong thing okay if you're gonna be scared of something you should be scared of playing it safe and being unhappy it's even more scary to not take that step at all and just stay put where you are because then you're gonna be like holy shit is this gonna be the rest of my life am I gonna be unhappy for the rest of my life I think that is so much scarier than taking that leap of faith that is gonna make you so happy and live your happiest best life you know what i mean if you are working a job that you completely dislike it's making you unhappy you got to put this into perspective how much money is worth selling your precious valuable time away and your happiness if your dream was to travel and you wanted to go and travel the world and you that's what you wanted to do but you worked a nine to five so think about it like you're working five days a week you have two days off out of those five days and people can argue like oh yeah but you only work eight hours a day but it's if when you put it into retrospect it's really more than eight hours and even including the weekend I honestly only count Saturday as a day off because when it's Sunday people are stressing about going to, to work the next day if they're unhappy in their job you're gonna have that mental state and be like oh my god I have to go to work tomorrow so it's not really a day off because you're stressing about it is that money that you're making from that nine to five job worth five days of your dream life is that worth it to you and that's the question that you gotta ask yourself look yourself in the mirror, ask yourself that question, and answer it honestly. Be 
because I think people underestimate how valuable and precious their time is and their happiness is. Nowadays, it's normalized and it's socially socially acceptable to not like your job and to be unhappy in your career. Like that is so messed up to me that so many people are working jobs that they do not like and that is normalized by society. Personally, I'm at such a good point in my life and I'm so happy with what I do that I wouldn't even want to sell one day away. When you follow your dreams, you gotta put everything into that. It has to be a whole mindset shift. It can't just be something that's in the back of your head. No, no, no. Like when you wanna follow your dreams and when you wanna make your dreams a reality and bring them into fruition, it's gotta be a whole lifestyle and mindset change. It can't just be 10% of what you think throughout the day. It has to be 100% of your actions, your words, your thoughts. Everything has to go into this. And it is hard. It will take time to, you know, change your mindset, change your lifestyle. But once you do, things will just start falling into place. Don't let anything or anyone come in between you and your dream life, okay? Because you're going to have a lot of people questioning you. And you're going to have a lot of people saying like, oh, like, what the heck? How can that happen to you? And there, there's going to be a whole bunch of negativity towards you. And you just got to realize none of that matters why couldn't it happen to you think about all the famous actresses all the famous youtubers all the famous artists people that have made a successful business and are so happy with their jobs why can't you be that person why can't you be that person who is happy with their job and what they're doing with their life you can be that person it's like we idolize these people that are happy within their career we kind of idolize them but you got to take them off of the pedestal and realize you have that same qualities within you they didn't get lucky they literally made that life for themselves and that's what you have to do if you want to live your dream life okay you gotta block out the haters you gotta block oh out anyone who is not for you doing that i'm sorry but you you gotta block them out and there's gonna be a lot of people that are not gonna like what you're doing but it's like getting past that stage of not caring and then you're gonna prove everyone wrong by the end of it so if you want to live your dream life you just have to really not care about what other people think because if you care about what other people think that is gonna hold you back tremendously and it's gonna get into your head so you got to completely block out all the negativity everyone who doesn't like what you're doing you got to block that out seriously that is like my number one tip people are always like oh that person that started that successful business that's like a one in a million chance that their business was going to be successful but listen to this only like one in a million people actually go after their dreams that other percentage of people they're just going along with society and doing these jobs that they do not like because it's normalized so you got to think of that who do you know in your life right now that is living out their dream life and that took those steps to live out their dream lives you probably don't know anyone or maybe know one or a couple people so saying you only have a one in a million chance that is not true because only a one in a million people will actually take those steps to live their dream life people are scared and fear is one of the biggest things that would stop you if you give into that fear then you're never going to be able to accomplish anything you just got to get rid of that fear and judgment and you will be free the only reason why people fail at following their dreams is because they give up too soon and honestly it takes so much patience and it takes perseverance it takes determ determination and you need to be so motivated and some people will work towards their dream life for like maybe a few weeks or maybe even a few months and they won't see results and they'll be like yep well i guess i can't do it but it's the people that keep pushing through those hard times because your journey is going to be like this okay and it's going to be like the universe testing you like do you really want to do this and the people People that really want to do this and have the right mindset are gonna keep going no matter what until they get their results my first few YouTube videos they only got like what maybe five views I could have been like oh my god looks like no one wants to watch my YouTube videos and just quit YouTube right then and there but that is where people fail is quitting every successful person that I know has one thing in common and that is not quitting I'm gonna show you guys this image right here and this is like the perfect example because it just goes to show that you can be so close without even realizing and then turn back and you would never know so you got to realize that you only live once you're here once how do you want to make your life when you're on your deathbed and your life is flashing before your eyes but what do you want to see do you want to see yourself being happy or do you want to see see yourself being sold away to society working a nine-to-five job five days a week that you hate when you go in to 
bringing this into fruition your attitude has to be okay this is going to be your do a do or die situation like you have to work towards that goal until you die like you cannot give up you cannot even have a plan b if you have a plan b that's literally setting yourself up for failure that is literally putting in your mind like oh if this doesn't work out then we'll go to plan b that's putting in your mind that that's that might not work out therefore it might actually not work out but if you have one only plan a you say to yourself this is this is my only option and that's it this has to work out for me then you're gonna find a million different ways to make it work out for you it's having that plan b that puts doubt in your mind that's the opposite of what's gonna help you get to attain your goals when i started living my dream life i I had people ask me like oh like what if this doesn't work out do you have a plan B and then at first I was thinking like oh shit should I be thinking of a plan B and then I was just like this is my one and only dream in my whole entire life this is the career that is gonna make me happy so why would I have a plan B of something that is gonna make me unhappy that is just the stupidest thing I've ever heard that is literally setting yourself up for failure do not normalize having a plan B Okay, that should not be normalized. All in all, like what would be the point of living your life if you didn't enjoy it? Being stuck in a job that you dislike, that's selling yourself away. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Why are we forcing ourselves to do things that we hate every day? We live on this beautiful planet. We live on this beautiful earth. Literally think about it. We live in the middle of freaking space and we are doing things that we don't like. Okay, that is so stupid. We have one body. We have one life. Let's make it right. Let's be happy. Let's all work together. Like, I want to help through my YouTube channel to inspire people and to help you guys follow your dreams and really do just what makes you happy. Because at the end of the day, nothing else matters. No one's opinion matters. Literally nothing else matters. As long as you're doing what makes you happy and it doesn't affect or hurt anyone, that's it. We got to normalize doing what makes you happy. Me going after my dreams and chasing after my dreams dreams has made me so happy and I really want to make you guys feel the happiness that I feel every single day like it is the most amazing feeling and it's so sad to me to think that some people don't feel this way that some people are still stuck I on this platform I want to really inspire and try and help anybody that I could by sending these messages out there and just encouraging you guys and saying like you can do anything you put your mind to you are worthy of anything you can become anything it's your life so take control of it start working towards things that make you happy i know it's easier said than done but it's a, like i said it's a whole lifestyle slash mindset change you got to make those actions to change it you can't just sit back and expect things to change around you you have to be the change in your life that you want to see so yeah you guys to live your dream life you just have to freaking take those first initial steps you have to go for it you have to stop caring about what other people think and you need to start caring about what you think and what makes you happy put the time and the work in now and your future self will thank you for it create the future that you want to see you're gonna regret it if you don't and living with that regret would probably be the worst feeling ever the things that you regret you can't necessarily go back and just change that is what you should be scared of. Don't be scared of doing something that is gonna make you happy. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. I definitely wanna do videos like this more often and just sit down and talk to you guys, motivate you guys, inspire you guys. Yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Or if there's any other topics you guys want me to talk about, leave it down below in the comments as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give this a thumbs up, subscribe for my other videos. And yeah, I love you guys so 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 much bye you guys